A community group in Albany has banded together to help research the little understood southern right whale. Every week, local volunteer pilots fly a researcher over the coastline to conduct aerial surveys, marking a new chapter in the town's relationship with the once hunted ocean giants. Whales have always commanded attention in Albany. The town's whaling station closed less than 50 years ago, in 1978. But a group of locals are now helping to write a new history for the mammals. Uh, there's like a patch of whales that has established. Katie Funai was studying at the University of Western Australia when she learned about the annual migration of endangered southern right whales along the state's south coast. And it was the first time I saw a whale and I completely fell in love. And so I decided to change, change my life and move to Australia and do marine biology. But the research was minimal, prompting her to team up with a fellow student to fill the gap. With Katie's data, we look at a really broad area and we get a, such a high quality snap snapshot of data of where they are and how they move. But Katie and Max don't get paid to do this research. To make it happen, they're completely reliant on a very dedicated group of locals who are equally passionate about helping to save this endangered mammal. David and Lisa Marie Ellett first met the researchers after spotting a rare white whale from their plane. They saw a chance to help and the Little White Whale project was born. When I first came up with the idea with Katie to, to get a group of pilots to fly her along to do the survey, she just looked at me like I had two heads and she's like, who's going to pay for that? And I said, well, we're going to ask them to pay for it, Katie. And she's like, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> They've now got 13 pilots on board who spent about $35,000 of their own money taking Katie on survey flights last year. Oh, and it's all voluntarily provided. So I felt bad to ask for that much. But in the end, they are really passionate about the project as well and, and kind of uh, grateful to, to see the whales. Thanks to the pilots, Katie is now undertaking the first weekly aerial survey of southern right whales in this area. Emily Smith, ABC News, Albany.